Good morning, this is Danny Taylor with Danny's Pixel Chicks helping you to find a place for every pixel and I want to just take a minute to answer some questions I have had about converting traditional albums, the big stack on the left here, to um, scanned pages and then ultimately you can turn them into this little stack on the right and turn and have um, traditional pages scanned as JPEGs that when you couple that with permanent storage it becomes a lasting part of your family story that can be passed down for generations without them being lugged from home to home or ultimately meeting their demise through catastrophe or loss or other damage. So let's take a look at what some pages look like. Um, I can show you that we have the, we you can send your pages in with the page protectors on them and they will scan them that way. But you can see when I did that because I was in a rush and didn't think it really mattered, it takes away some of the depth of your traditional scrapbook page. And if there are wrinkles in the page protectors, it will um, show on the scan. So here are a couple of examples where you can see those kinds of wrinkles. Um, over here on the left you can see it going up through the picture of Chapin um, but when you look at the pages that were scanned without the page protectors on them I removed them before sending these pages in they are crisp and clear and have some of that depth that we give to our traditional album pages I call it the three dimensionality of it so you can see how much better they look when you take the page protectors off I also have mine scanned with the jeeping or the reinforcement edges um, because that gives me a little more flexibility if I want to do something with the um, images of these pages. And what I do with those images is to create a, an 8x8 um, Artisan page in our PC based software program Artisan 6. I have a one big photo box that I put the page into and then I work manipulate that in order to eliminate the jeeping strips and then I color match the background to some part of the page so that it looks like it was intended to be that way. And I actually have Artisan open here in order to show you how that works. So if we come down here to the last page um, you can see that this photo box is the page itself and then I color match the outer edge to that so if I duplicate this page and then come over here to my photos I'm going to choose photos not used this is the next one put that in there and you can see it pops in with the jeeping and all I have to do is to enlarge that a little bit to eliminate the jeeping and I can move it around some if I want now this background <clears throat> already matches this page but just to show you how that works if I click on the background and come up here to the fill button and I want to make it a solid color click sample and this is going to enable me to sample a color from the page in order to coordinate the background with the page. So what I'm working on is to turn these 12 by 12 albums into 8 by 8 digital photo books um, that take less space that I can keep a copy when my kids move out and get to take their big albums with them and if they're not able to take the big albums, they not only have the digital images stored in their permanent forever storage, but they also have um, the option of having these books printed if I don't print them for them. Um, so this is a really simple process. It's not terribly time consuming. Um, what you will want is the medium size box because that is the box that will um, accommodate the best number of pages for the size of the box. So you go to um, my forever website forever.com slash ambassador slash Danny's Pixel Chicks um, or click on the link in this post. Go to the digitize tab and the box that you will want is this medium size box and it will hold about 300 pages 152 sided pages um, I also have the cover of some of the more special cover sets digitized so that I can match the cover of the ultimate digital book if I choose to make one 
You don't have to turn to digital scrapbooking in order to do this. What you're doing is providing insurance for those lovingly created projects of yours and um, putting them into permanent storage so that should your traditional albums meet their demise in some way, you still have them. Or if you're in a position where you can't take them all with you because of the size, how cumbersome they are, or maybe you just can't hold them anymore because your hands get older um, and they become very unwieldy. Um, this is a great way to preserve them. And then if you want to turn them into smaller digital books, the Artisan 6 software um, enables you to do that very quickly and easily. The medium sized box again holds about 300 pages or 150 pa pages two sided is, is what that will physically hold. And that amount of pages does exceed the prepaid credits, but you put, fill the box up, send it in, and then we'll give you the overage to take care of before your box enters the queue. So if you have questions about this process or would like me to help you with it, I'd love to talk with you. I'm in the process of having all of my traditional albums digitized, and when they come back, they're in order, and I can put them right back into the albums they came out of. So I hope this was helpful for you to see how this process works. If you have questions, please reach out to me. This is Danny Taylor with Danny's Pixel Chicks, signing off and getting back to work. You have a beautiful day.